I'm on a bike. Hi, this is uh, this is Sasha Segan from PCBag.com on the uh, Lit TV Super Bike. Uh, this is a bike with integrated a bike with basically a small integrated Android tablet that uh, controls and is connected to all sorts of sensors throughout the bike. And I've got I've got Will Park from Lit TV here. Uh, Hello. Now, first, I want to ask a question because we've been hearing this name a little bit throughout the show. And like when I ask people about this com this company, they're like, "Oh, they're the Netflix of China." <laughs> and I'm like, "Why is the Netflix of China making a bike and smartphones?" So explain a little about the company and like why what's happening within the U.S. Right. So you know, uh, we started off as a content provider, uh, streaming content provider in China, and you know, we're, we're a fairly big company out there, um, and we're making inroads into the U.S. and we decided to actually become fully vertically integrated and start making our own hardware. So we started with the phone and the TV because that just makes the most sense for how to consume our content. Right, right. you're the Netflix, so we're you want to watch it on TV. <laughs> right, there well, you, you go, so you make the go. TV. Exactly. Right. Um, but why are we, you know, we make headphones as accessories, we make Bluetooth speakers, but we also make sports equipment like this. Uh -huh. and, and the idea is, it's kind of like the next generation of personal mobility. It's what can we do to bring our technology and ecosystem chops to things that are maybe not so obvious, like a phone or a TV? So and that's, that's this guy with an integrated yeah. screen. I love that it's. I love. I actually kind of love that it's not electrically assisted and that it's like a real bike. It's a real bike. It's a high-end bike, full carbon. Frame. Yeah. Yep. So okay. So. You know, uh, as far as cost, we're we, we haven't finalized that yet. You know, we're we're How much just does it cost it. in China? Uh, China, I can, I'm not familiar with the r and prices right now, but I can definitely get you that information through my uh, PR team, right? Okay, okay. So, sen yeah, sensors. Yeah, so What's got, going on here? It's full of sensors. It's a smart bike, right? It's a rideable. So it does everything you'd expect from your your phone. Like it'll uh, it'll track your your GPS uh, position. It'll stream uh, music from the cloud or on board. This is actually a walkie-talkie feature, so that when you push this button, it'll. So uh, if your friends also have these bikes, you can like talk to them in a team, right? right. Not just the bike, but actually any walkie-talkie that works on these frequencies, oh, you can okay. talk to them. Now, um, how about the sensors? I feel there's yeah, sensors in the right handles. over here. You got heart rate sensors on both of the handlebars, and that actually helps you uh, uh, figure out your the exertion and your metabolism, right? Um, and that's all uh, uh, right here. If you see recorded in your trip, you got your heart rate right okay. there. Okay. And, okay. Um, and now there's three buttons here. This is obviously a headlight. Headlight. It's okay. Modes, regular bright and super bright. Okay. Now this is a parking brake. That's a parking brake. So we want the wheels. Uh -huh. uh, you can either do that manually oh. or if you carry your phone, uh, Bluetooth to the I'm head stuck. unit right here. Oh, I'm stuck. I think. Just okay. Again. Yep. Okay. Um, if you carry your phone over Bluetooth to the head unit and you walk away, it'll actually automatically lock the bike. Or you can lock the bike remotely and track the bike remotely through the app on your phone. Okay, and then this last one. So that's a camera button. There's uh -huh. no camera on here in this configuration. There's an optional. Uh, uh -huh. There's an optional sports camera that mounts to the handlebars. And while you're riding, if you see something cool or your friends do something fun, hit that button. It'll instantly take a picture on that uh, sports camera that's mounted to the handlebars. Now, now, I'm a little worried about biking and using this touch interface. Is there like a voice interface option, something like that? You know, that's actually uh, something we're looking into. It's still early days right now so I think we're totally open to feedback and that's kind of the way we develop our products as we we look at consumer feedback and we integrate that into our product design and our product development so that we can actually deliver what the audience wants GPS uh, GPS uh, it's got cellular connectivity yeah, if you look here on the screen you can see where this person went in their trip through Russia apparently um, but yeah it's got uh, I saw I saw it actually had a map up how do you get that back up? The map is right there. Oh, okay. So it's a former track. Yeah, it's a former yeah. track. Yeah. But you can do like you could do directions, right? Like you can get directions. To right, right. Directions to the location, or you know, in real time, where are you? Instead of like stopping and pulling out your phone and trying to figure out, oh my God, I got lost. Awesome. You know, it's, yeah. Where am I? Just glance down and keep going on your way. Okay. Okay. Or am I still on my route? Am I on my pre-planned route? Oh, I am. Okay, good. So now this is on sale in China right now. It is. Okay, and is this like my big quest? One of my big questions about your company is what is coming to the U.S. Right, and I think you know that's a fair question. We 
we're, we're leveraging all the success we had in China, but we want to be very careful in how we enter the U.S. market because just replicating what we've done in China is not necessarily the right strategy here. Uh -huh. So we want to take our time and really understand what resonates here. Uh -huh. You know, we have three models of this bike, actually. So, uh -huh. you know, which model do we bring over? What is that price? You know, so there are all those things that we have to consider before we can just, like, ship it. Okay, great. Any other questions we have? Okay, well then, I think we are going to move on. Uh, maybe I will ride the bike. To, maybe I won't because someone else probably has to ride it. Um, no, it's, it's, it's in park mode right now. Can you unpark it? Yep, still parked. What? Oh, I heard a click. Well, I can't figure that out. But we're going to move on, and uh, I will not ride this bike. It's parked. So the frame is uh, it's cool carbon frame. Uh, as far as the handlebars, these, these this is aluminum right here, uh, but obviously aluminum uh, wheels as well. Um, so it's a uh, high-end component, high-end frame, high-end everything. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks, Thank Will. This is Seth to see PC Mag uh, with the uh, Lit TV Superbike, the rideable.